My name is Jackie Scanlon. I'm a senior software engineer here at Maryland. I actually got my degrees in electrical engineering and robotics uh, at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. I came to Maryland because I was excited to join a startup, work on something new, and have a high impact on a bit of a smaller team. We're building the Maryland Pilot, um, which is an advanced autonomy system to put on board an aircraft and uh, assist a human pilot reduce their workload so that they can focus on the critical things and let our system handle um, navigation, flying the routes, takeoff, landing, and even communication uh, with the radio. The aircraft has to communicate with air traffic control and other planes uh, flying in the airspace. Um, we have a natural language processing system that can listen to the radio and hear those commands and interpret them. And we're working on the response aspect, responding back to air traffic control and back to other planes as we talk to them. And then there's also the communication link to the ground. Right now, all the autonomy system is on board and there's test pilots on board, so the ground communication link is not critical. However, testing in Alaska has been really helpful for um, testing out the reliability of that link because in the future without pilots on board the plane needs a way to phone home and call for help if something were to happen. Our ground to air communication link is a beyond visual line of sight link, EVLOS, um, and the reason we need that is because we're flying way out of range of the hangar. So in Mojave we had a radio antenna on top of the hangar that we were able to um, used to communicate with the aircraft in our test area in Mojave. But since in Alaska our test area is much larger, um, we need a beyond visual line of sight link. Um, the way that works is through the Iridium network. Um, there's Iridium coverage all over the globe, including Alaska, and so um, that's how we've been able to stay in contact with the aircraft uh, from the hangar here at Everts or from anywhere in the country really. Right now we're mostly sending telemetry data, the aircraft's position, altitude, airspeed, um, as well as some more specific system things. For example, all the natural language processing commands that it hears over the aircraft radio um, come in on the ground station, um, as well as the planned um, route that the system is going to take from takeoff to landing. 